The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes just won the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble. It was electric-ish. Let's talk about it. So, number one, we saw Gunter enter the match and he came out and little did we know how long he would stay. He ended up being one of the final two people in the match, last getting eliminated by the returning American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Gunter lasting a new Royal Rumble record, one hour, 11 minutes, and I believe 25 seconds, uh, probably a little bit of, li li little bit of booking right there, a little bit of kayfabe there, either way, he was in there for a record amount of time, he is the Royal Rumble MVP, even though he didn't win, but a lot of people talked about what could happen, will we see Sami Zayn return, will we see The Rock return, there were a lot of rumors lately about The Rock potentially coming back. Those are all quashed. We did have some interesting surprises. Brock Lesnar came back. He had an electric three minutes, and then he was promptly kicked out by Bobby Lashley. Look for those two to have a match at WrestleMania. And then, and then, and then we saw Booker T return, which was, eh, if you ask me. You know, he, him and his bad takes, then it got eliminated like 30 seconds later. But let's get down to it. Number 30. We, we all knew who, who it was going to be because he had not entered the match yet and he was one of the biggest names. So this was, I think, WWE doing a thing where they kind of knew that fans might be clamoring for Sami Zayn to enter the match. But they preempted all of that by saying, OK, we're going to have Cody come out at number 30 and they're not going to boo him. So let's just have him come out and have everyone know at number 30 is going to be Cody. Sami Zayn's not in the match, whatever. So that happened. Cody comes out, big pop, massive pop, biggest pop of the night. It's one of the few times I saw, I heard this crowd at least, really get out of their seats. We, of course, also saw Logan Paul come in. He got a huge, uh, what I call the anti-pop, which is just like booze raining down, but he got a reaction. Uh, anyway, Cody Rhodes returns, and he has this great sequence where him and Seth Rollins were teasing a bit of a tag team, maybe? Like, they had a, a lot of... A lot of like tag team maneuvers. They were helping each other out. Um, in the end, we saw Gunter eliminate um, Seth. Sorry, we saw Logan Paul eliminate Seth Rollins. And then Gunter eliminate um, Logan Paul. And finally, the final two, Cody and Gunter went at it for about like 10 extra minutes at the end. They basically had a match. And it was a pretty good sequence. Like It was one of my favorite sequences in the end of a Royal Rumble that, that I've seen. And Cody came out on top. They did the spot where it was kind of like the Brody King, Darby Allen spot where Gujar had Cody in a headlock. And you, you thought they were going to go for the spot where he just drops him. But Cody's like kind of got him on a bit of a reverse guillotine. He's trying to get him over the ropes. That didn't end up happening. And they go back in, have another bit of a sequence. Cody actually re reverses Gujar's power slam into a crossroads. Close lines him out. The American Nightmare is trying to fulfill the American dream, and he will get that chance at WrestleMania 39, likely in the main event against Roman Reigns? Maybe. We'll see. Probably. Definitely. Roman Reigns. Um, but all in all, decent Royal Rumble. Um, actually, it was a good Royal Rumble. I'll, I'll say this. Like, it was... It wasn't like spectacular. I wasn't, you know, over the moon about the booking. I thought it was... It was a good Royal Rumble. It just wasn't, you know, it didn't, it didn't have that like one legendary spot or one legendary moment with that, except at the end where you're like, oh my God, this is like, I'm watching something special. Like, and anyway, like the last time I remember even ha having something of that feeling was probably 2019 when Becky Lynch won, or even before that, a men's Rumble 2018 when uh, Nakamura won. But all in all, they did, they got to the right decision. Cody Rhodes won. He's going to Mania. He's probably going to win the belt from Roman. Big stuff happening. Let me know what you guys thought about this Rumble. Was it great? Did it suck? <laughs> or was it in between? Meh. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.